Crops are the foundation of your microgreens business, and Seedleaf helps you manage your crops and cropping schedule to ensure your crops mature on your preferred harvest day. Seedleaf comes preloaded with about 40 crops. Now, Seedleaf is built for customization to give you flexibility for a wide range of crop options. So let's start here by taking a look at the elements of a crop. Your crop name is how you identify your crop. You want it to be descriptive and specific. We'll come back to that. Seed is, well, the seed. You'll select your seed from a drop-down list showing your customized seed list that we looked at already. Seeding rate is for reference when sowing and will be used to calculate seed expenses in the future. This is the dry weight of seed required for this crop. Soak time in minutes is solely for reference. Days to germinate, or DTG, is how long the crop spends covered or in the dark from its soaking or sowing day. Days to maturity, or DTM, is how long the crop will grow from soaking or sowing to harvest. The cut yield is your expected yield for this crop. And the overnight soak button is used if you soak your seed overnight, meaning your sowing day will be the day after your soaking day in your seed leaf task list. Okay, now let's create our crop. So you will need to come up with your own naming system, but here is a recommendation to start with, with each crop name having three parts, the crop, the variety, and the tray size. And this is an effective naming system if you have multiple varieties of crops and grow them in different size trays. So let's do basil, Thai, 1020. So this tells me I'm growing basil, the variety is Thai, and I'm growing it in a 1020 tray or a 10 inch by 20 inch tray. My seed, of course, is going to be Thai basil. My seeding rate for basil is about 8 grams. We don't soak uh, basil, so we're going to put a zero in there. Days to germination, we're putting 5 for our basil. And days to maturity, we're going to put 20, but it can be longer. This is good for now. Our expected cut yield is about 150 grams. And we're not soaking our seed, so we can ignore this. So we can add this. And there we see Thai basil in our list. Now, to show you the flexibility of seed leaf, let's create another but similar crop. We're going to go back here. We're going to call this one basil, Thai. But I'm going to call this one 1010 live. This means I'm growing it in a 10 by 10 tray and I'm selling it live. The seed is our Thai basil again. So this is why we separate our seeds from our crop. Now, my tray is half the size, so my seeding rate is half the amount. We already know our soak time is none. We have the same days to, uh, to germinate and pretty much the same days to maturity. And because we're selling this, this live, we don't need to enter a cut yield because we are not cutting it. So seed leaf doesn't need to do any yield calculations. We can add that. And there you can see we've got our basil Thai 1010 live and our basil Thai 1020. So that's how you create customized crops in seed leaf using a specific descriptive naming system. To edit a crop, simply click on it, make the change you want, <laughs> and type it properly. Click Save, and now you've got your change there. Now, you grow a crop and you sell a product. So let's take a look at products next and see how they relate back to our crops.